right, guys. You want to you want to see how I done this project? Put holes. I uh, had the welding table. Put holes in it to put these stoppers in, and to uh, also use clamps. One time I need clamps on the inside. You want to see how I done that? Uh, watch this video. Thank you very much. Good morning, uh, YouTube. Uh, Daniel back out in the shop. Uh, we're going to do a little project today. Uh, what I did is, sometimes I need to clamp stuff to the inside of the table, but I don't have any holes. If you look online, a lot of the fixture tables has holes. A lot of the fabrication tables has holes. So what I did, this is a piece of a 3-8 plate. You've seen in previous videos me working on it and using it. Uh, I started to take it off and drill some holes, but I don't really need that many. So these are these are five eighths right here, and this clamp uh, twenty dollars for this. Uh, got it from a Fireball Tools. It's made by Stronghand Tools, but uh, Fireball Tools uh, sells them. Uh, this is a six inch. And they have an eight inch, but sometimes uh, using the magnets. The problem with the magnets is uh, when you go to strike an arc or what have you, the, the electrons in the electrical part of welding get pulled away and it makes it very difficult to uh, strike an arc. So <clears throat> I said, well, let me buy some of these. We can use them on the inside. And then I can always, I got clamps that'll work good on the outside. So what I probably do is put some, put maybe three or four holes on, on the edge. I got an inch and a half on each side and I got two inches this way but this here is my um, table for the plasma cutter so what I do is I got a little square here uh, take measure uh, oh who put that there where did that come from uh, uh, got two straight deals uh, got me a punch here to help uh, make sure I get in the center and then uh, I got a 5 8 drill, and we're we'll running off this battery drill. It should go slow enough to work pretty good. And I got some uh, tap oil uh, over there on the bottom shelf of the drill press. I would have used a drill press, but it can't get to the insides. And I'm thinking about uh, running a set of holes this way. Then maybe run a set of holes uh, about that long as well. Because when I built this table, you can see I have a 2x4 running across. So I'm thinking we'll put the holes here and put some here. And that should be more than enough of what I need. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes well, it'll be figured at a right angle. And uh, the right angle comes in handy for these pins. These pins are the same as this right here. And what you do, you put these pins through the hole in the table. And then you can get your right angles. And if, if I measure right, get everything perfect, I shouldn't have no trouble, which I can come back and uh, double check with this uh, framing square and make sure I got it right. So that's what the plan is. Uh, we'll get started and try to get all this done. Uh, just a little quick project I need to do today to help me uh, with future ideas and stuff like that. So, all right, let's get started. All right. We started the pilot holes with the 3 8 and got the pilot hole with the 3 8 What I did, uh, I abandoned that idea because I can clamp from the outside. I think I'm going to put uh, maybe three or four holes across here, and uh, that will help me on the inside. So here we are, uh, going to drill these because, again, I got the 2 by 4s going across, so I got to try to miss those. So I decided to work on this first in case my drill get dull at least I have two holes because I weld mostly on this side due to the plug over there get pretty bit hot I may have to get my bigger drill try to finish it up all right the little battery power was doing it but it's taking a long time it's getting pretty warm, so I got my hammer drill out. So I put it on the drill function, and it went right through it. So this is the great thing about this. From the inside, you, instead of using magnets all the time, which affects your weld, you can use these, and uh, it works perfect. You just 
take something from the inside. Like I said, this is a six inch. Uh, on the fab table, they're probably perfect. My hole is not perfect, but it's enough to hold this down. Once you tighten it, so it'll keep that still, and this here kind of wedges in that hole. So it's going to be perfect. And then, uh, <clears throat> I'll take that out. I'll probably end up buying another one of these. Uh, six inches fine for me. But, <clears throat> So the great thing about these are measurements are right. If I get my measurement just right, hope to get them close. Uh, what you can do is uh, you put those stoppers in there and then you can get your 90 degree. All right, let me uh, drill. I need to drill this hole out here and uh, we'll get going. Like I said, you can buy five eight shoulder bolts. You don't necessarily have to buy these. I bought these because I, I bought this from a company. They all shipped together. So I'll probably just get some bolts. But the good thing is, you'll be able to do something like that. And you know, if you want to, it's designed the way you can really have a, a 90 degree angle. So the stops. So they're pretty good. But, uh, Imagine shoulder bolts are probably cheaper than these and don't need all this material here, but uh, it came with that company. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Thank you very much.